Tsunamis are terrifying. In 2004, a wave surged across the Indian Ocean, killing over 230,000 people. In 2011, Japan's Tohoku tsunami devastated coastlines and triggered a nuclear disaster. These events are truly unforgettable until time forgets them. Because once the waves recede, their fingerprints fade. Erosion, urban development, natural weathering, tsunamis rarely leave a clear mark in the rock record. But what if Earth had another way of remembering? Buried in an ancient floor in northern Japan, scientists have found something bizarre. Amber. Fossilized tree resin from land discovered deep in marine sediments dated to the early Cretaceous, about 115 million years ago. But this isn't just any amber. It looks deformed. Some of it looks like it was melted and flowed, forming these pillow-like, flame-shaped structures, much like soft mud shaken by an earthquake. And yet, this resin is not rock. See, amber is a form of resin produced by trees, so its presence clearly indicates that it originated on land from a forested environment. So how did it get to the ocean? Well, the team behind the discovery believed that the resin was still soft when it entered and swept into the ocean, that's why it has those flowy structures, and they believe that it was carried by a massive tsunami. This is pretty huge. Why? Well, because we rarely find clear ancient tsunami deposits unless they're recent and coastal. This amber, found in pelagic, which means open ocean, deep sea layers, hundreds of kilometers from a shore, may be the first geological record of a tsunami preserved in resin. The deposit comes from the Hokkaido Yezo group, and it's not just a one-off. There are 30 separate amber-bearing layers in this sequence, stacked like a time series of chaos. Some layers contain driftwood the size of tree trunks, others are packed with plant debris and giant ripped-up seafloor clasts, all signs of a very high-energy flowing environment. The resin's internal structures were revealed using high-resolution imaging, showing that it was squeezed, bent, and injected into nearby sediments while it was still soft. And the only thing that could have caused this was a tsunami. Rivers and storms just don't fit the bill. A tsunami that struck 115 million years ago now recorded in fossilized tree sap. If forests and waves can leave their scars in amber, what other secrets lie buried beneath the sea floor? If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. We're making lots of fascinating videos. We've got plenty in the pipeline. I'm your host, Mr. Earth Guy, and I'll see you in the next one.